Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall take up two questions in which we are going to find out whether or not the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. That means we shall find out whether the divisor is the factor of the second polynomial that is dividend. Now these are the two questions which we are going to solve it using long division method. Now long division of polynomial is same as long division of any whole number. The three steps involved in long division are first is division, second multiplication and third subtraction. Now if the remainder is zero after long division process, we can say the second polynomial is a factor of the first polynomial or the divisor is the factor of dividend. Now let us start with the first question. The first polynomial is given 3x plus 2 and second polynomial is given 3 into x raised to power 4 plus 5x cube minus x square plus 13x plus 10. Now first one is the divisor and second polynomial is the dividend. And we have to find out whether the first polynomial is the factor of second polynomial or not. That means whether the divisor is fully div uh, dividing the dividend or not. So if we get the remainder 0, we can say that the divisor is the factor of dividend. Now let us set our problem. The divisor that is 3x plus 2 will come outside and dividend that is 3 into x raised to power 4 plus 5x cube minus x square plus 13x plus 10 will come inside. Now if you observe, the dividend is already in standard form. So we need not convert into any other form. It is already set. Now we shall move to first step of division. So we shall take up the first term of the dividend and divide it by the first term of the divisor. So that is 3x raised to power 4 will be divided by 3x and we shall get x cube. Another way of finding x cube is what number should be multiplied to 3x to get 3 into x raised to power 4. So that way also you can get this question to x cube because 3x into x cube is 3 into x raised to power 4. Now we shall move to second step of multiplication. We have to multiply this question that is x cube with each term of the divisor. That is 3x into x cube we shall get 3 into x raised to power 4 and 2 into x cube we shall get 2x cube. Now this product we shall write just below the first two terms of the dividend and we shall move to third step of subtraction. For that first of all we shall change the signs. So plus 3x raised to power 4 will become minus 3x raised to power 4 and plus 2x cube will become minus 2x cube. Now further plus 3x raised to power 4 and minus 3x raised to power 4 will stand cancel and 5x cube minus 2x cube we shall get 3x cube. Now further we shall bring down minus x square. Now this is our new dividend you can say uh, which we have to solve 3x cube minus x square. So we shall start with the three steps all over again. First of all 3x cube will be divided by 3x and we shall get x square as the new quotient which we will write on the top just next to x cube. Now we shall multiply x square which with each term of the divisor. So x square into 3x we shall get 3x cube and x square into 2 we shall get 2x square. So this product we shall write just below the 3x cube minus x square and now we shall move to third step of subtraction. First of all we shall change the signs plus 3x cube will become minus 3x cube and plus 2x square will become minus 2x square. Now further plus 3x cube and minus 3x cube will stand cancel. Minus x square and minus 2x square we shall get minus 3x square and we shall bring down further 13x. Now we have to solve this with, with our three steps approach. So first step is division. We shall take up first term of the dividend that is minus 3x square and divide by 3x and we shall get minus x which is our new question which we will write on the top. Now second step is multiplication. So we have to multiply minus x 
with each term of the divisor. So let's start minus x into 3x is minus 3x square minus x into 2 is minus 2x. Now this product we have written just below minus 3x square plus 13x. Now we shall move to third step of subtraction. So first of all let's change the signs. Minus 3x square will become plus 3x square and minus 2x will become plus 2x. Now further minus 3x square and plus 3x square will stand cancel. And plus 13x and plus 2x we shall get 15x. Further we shall bring down the next term in the dividend that is 10. Now we have to divide 15x by 3x and we shall get plus 5 as the new question which we will write on the top. And now we shall multiply 5 with each term of the divisor. So 5 into 3x is 15x. 5 into 2 is 10. We shall write this product just below the new dividend which we have got that is 15x plus 10. Now we shall move to third step of subtraction. We shall change the signs first of all. So plus 15x will become minus 15x and plus 10 will become minus 10. Now further plus 15x and minus 15x will stand cancel and plus 10 and minus 10 will also stand cancel and we are left with the remainder 0. So over here since the remainder is 0 we can say the first polynomial that is the divisor is the factor of second polynomial that is the dividend. Now let us take up question number 2. Over here the first polynomial is x square plus 1 and second polynomial is x raised to power 4 minus 3x cube minus 4x square plus 3x plus 2. Now the first polynomial is the divisor and the second polynomial is the dividend. Now if you observe both of them are in standard form. So we can straight away start with our solution. Let us set our problem the divisor that is x square plus 1 will come outside and dividend that is x raised to power 4 minus 3x cube minus 4x square plus 3x plus 2 will come inside. Now we shall start with the first step of division. We shall take up the first term of the dividend that is x raised to power 4 and divide by the first term of the divisor that is x square and we shall get the quotient x square x raised to power 4 divided by x square we shall get x square another way of finding x square is you can think of a number what should be multiplied to x square to get x raised to power 4 so x square into x square is x raised to power 4 so that way also you can find x square as the question now we shall move to next step of uh, finding the product so x square we shall multiply with each term of the divisor so first of all x square into x square we shall get x raised to power 4 and x square into 1 we shall get x square. Now while writing this product we shall write in such a way that it falls below the like terms leaving in between minus 3x cube. That means x raised to power 4 will be written below x raised to power 4 and x square will be written just below minus 4x square. Now we shall move to the third step of subtraction. First of all let us change the signs plus x raised to power 4 will become minus x raised to power 4 and plus x square will become minus x square. Now further plus x raised to power 4 and minus x raised to power 4 will stand cancel and will get 0 and minus 4x square and minus x square we shall get minus 5x square. Further we shall bring down minus 3x cube and plus 3x. Now we will start with the three steps all over again. First step is of division. So we shall take up the first term that is minus 3x cube and divide it by the first term of the divisor that is x square and we shall get the new quotient minus 3x. Now we shall multiply minus 3x with each term of the divisor. So minus 3x into x square we shall get minus 3x cube and minus 3x into 1 we shall get minus 3x. Now again while writing it we shall make sure that we'll write below the like terms. So minus 3x cube will be written just below minus 3x cube and then minus 3x will be written just below plus 3x. We shall leave the space in between or you can insert 0 in between. Now we shall change the signs for subtraction. 
So uh, minus 3x cube will become plus 3x cube and minus 3x will become plus 3x. Now further minus 3x cube and plus 3x cube will stand cancel and plus 3x and plus 3x we shall get x 6x. Now we shall bring down minus 5x square which was left in between and plus 2 from the dividend. Now this is the new dividend that is minus 5x square plus 6x plus 2 which we have to solve using the three steps approach. Now first step is of division. So let us take up the first term of the dividend that is minus 5x square and we shall divide it by x square and we shall get minus 5. So minus 5 uh, we will write on the top that is our new quotient and now minus 5 we shall multiply by each term of the divisor. So minus 5 into x square we shall get minus 5x square and minus 5 into 1 we shall get minus 5. Now while writing this product that is minus 5x square and minus 5 we shall make sure that we write just below the like terms that is minus 5x square will be written below minus 5x square and minus 5 shall be written just below plus 2. In between we can insert 0. Now we shall move to third step of subtraction for that we shall change the sign minus 5x square will become plus 5x square and minus 5 will become plus 5. Now further minus 5x square will stand cancel with plus 5x square and plus 2 and plus 5 we shall get 7. Further we can bring down 6x. Six, six. Now if you observe the power of x is 1. So we can say the degree is 1 over here of 6x plus 7. This polynomial has the degree 1. Now in the divisor the power of x is 2. So degree over there is 2. That means the degree of divisor is now more than the degree of the remainder. So that's why we cannot divide further. So this is our final remainder. And since a remainder is not equal to 0 we can say the first polynomial is not a factor of second polynomial. So this is it. Hope you enjoyed the video and understood these two questions related to uh, whether or not the first polynomial is a factor of second polynomial or not. And we have used long division method to find it out. So please do like and subscribe my channel and do give your feedback in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.